Hey everybody, Kyle here and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. This is Banjo-Tooie as you can see by the obvious title here. So this is a game that I've been wanting to play for a while on this channel and I just recently got it on the actual console. Like I actually just recently got a cartridge of it. And I thought, you know what, since I still want to play this game, I might as well go ahead and do it now. So this doesn't affect Mother 3, that Let's Play is still going to be going on, this game is just going to be going on concurrently with it. So you know, it'll just give me a little bit of a break from Mother 3, I suppose, and it'll kind of break the monotony with it. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started here. I think all of these files have something on them for whatever reason. I guess this is just stuff that uh, whoever owned the cartridge before me had on here. So I haven't gone through and deleted these yet. Whoops, that is not what I meant to do. Well, ignore all this. I am very sorry. I think I can just leave here. Okay, come on. Well, this is a very interesting start to this. We start the, game, the Let's Play with a game over. Shoot. How many Let's Players can say they've done that? Uh, okay. Well, sorry about that. I think I have to go to a separate thing. Uh, where you at? Where you at, yo? Uh, oh, right here. Okay. Well, that makes sense, I guess. Well, okay. Let's go ahead and get rid of Banjo's face here, because this is... Yeah. This is the, the file that I usually use because Banjo is cool. He is best character in game, I think. Okay, let's go ahead and get this started. Finally. On a dark and spooky night, many, many years ago, there was a rainstorm. And on this rainstormy night, there was also a castle. And two years of... <laughs> what the fuck? Two years have passed since Gruntilda, what the witch, was defeated by Banjo and Kazooie. Yes, so this is two years after the events of Banjo Kazooie. After falling from her tower, she was buried underground where she remains until this very day. Well, that typically happens when you fall, like, to your death. Your body just happens to stay there. But no, I think. Even at the end of Banjo-Kazooie, you find out that Gruntilda was still alive, I think. Not sure. I actually haven't... I don't know if I've ever been to the ending of Banjo-Kazooie. Or if I did, it was a really long time ago. All because of that stupid bear. Am I gonna give... Am I gonna give characters voices in this game? I don't know if that's a good idea, because, uh... Usually they hurt my throat. And right now, I'm actually dealing with strep throat fucking strep throat and I don't want to hurt my throat anymore. He's right, Kazooie. There goes your bird seed money. Whoa, dude, that's just like food money. You can't withhold her money for that. Jeez. Hey, look outside, everyone. Grunty the Witch is coming. Oh, man, I, I forgot how slow this text scrolls. Oh, boy. Where, Kazooie? I, I can't see her. Oh, er, false alarm, bottles. Must have been some shadows. Oh man, I, I can't even really read this. Come on, Boneface, let's play. I feel lucky. Are they playing poker? Are they gambling? Hope they're doing it in the state where it's legal. That, that was supposed to be a joke, but I realized that it was really stupid. Anyways, so what is going on now? On this dark, stormy, gloomy night? Obviously something foreboding because it's set up with a stormy dark night and that's typically when things of this nature happen. Uh-oh. Someone's fracking through here. I guess. No, fracking involves water. There's no water there it looked like. Oh snap. Earthquake! S stop rocking the t table. You're m making me sick. Uh, yeah, mumbo n not r rock table, whole house shakes, lots. Yeah, looks like it. P perhaps one of us should g go take a look outside. Uh, yeah, 
sort of a good idea. But, I mean, depending on what's going on, if you went outside and there was, like, some thing that was going to kill you, I mean, I guess you'd be screwed. But, here we go. They've, they've broken through. They've made contact, whoever this is. Oh, boy. Oh man, the, the green smoke, man. Someone was lighting that place up with farts. That's what that looks like. Oh gosh. Okay, so we're about to meet the most disgusting looking characters in this game. Mmm, hurry, Blabelda. Our sister is waiting. Oh, I don't know why I'm giving her this voice. <laughs> is it because she's carrying a, a book? Oh my god. Uh, quickly, we must go, or angry Grunty will be. Then get off me, you must. Or move, I cannot. That wasn't the that wasn't the same voice, dude. My voices are inconsistent as all holy hell. It stopped now. I wonder what it was. Sure was noisy. Let's go take a look, Kazooie. Okay, so now we go out and do that. But it's dark out there, and er, I'll be scared. Mumbo much brave. Me go look outside. Back in minute. Yeah, you, you go, uh, Mumbo. What a sucker, huh? Come on, Banjo, give me a hand. Oh, you're just gonna steal all his winnings? Man, those look like coins from Red Dragon Inn. Gosh. That's the only thing I could think of. Gosh. Alright, what are they up to? So sorry, mistress, I have failed you. Worry, Gruntilda mustn't. Get you out, your sister's will. Big Rock is so powers. We must combine. What? Grunty's sisters, you should not mock. Now watch our magic blast this rock. Is that the actual, that's, that's the incantation of the spell, what she just said. Okay. I mean, did you guys write that yourselves? I, that, that would make sense. Whatever. Gone Rock has, so out you can come. She's gonna have the same voice as fucking... Whatever his name is, I forget his name. Goodness gracious, like I said, it's been years since I played this game. No, no, this cannot be. What's happened to little old me? Okay, she's got the old lady witch voice, I guess. Nice, Grunty looks. Lost weight you have, I think she said. I hate bones, I need. Can you help with this little deed? I, I read that wrong, oh well. Yes, plan to help we have. So back to our castle, we must go. Oh, I forgot, her sisters don't rhyme. Unless they're doing weird incantations. Then Banjo's hairy butt, I'll whoop. This not good. Me go tell Banjo. Yeah, you do it, Mumbo. Arg! Seen us bony man has. Him we must whack. Just like other things. No. Leave it to me, he's no hassle. I'll kick butt, then off to the castle. Um, oh my god, now she's throwing fucking... Agnihim bolts at him. I, that, that's just the first thing that came to mind when I saw those. Okay. Oh, did I... Oh, no, I skipped the cutscene. Oh, you fucking putts. Okay, well, that was my fault. I, I guess I hit the B button. Oh, well. Well, uh, shit. Do I, do I, like, go and just edit the cutscene in? Nah, that's too much work. Basically, all that happens is... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no! Various insects are taking an interest in my corpse. Well, that's typically what happens with decomposing bodies. No, so, basically, Gruntilda's sisters... Uh, well, Gruntilda, as you saw, was... was throwing energy agnihim bolts at Mumbo and then they she eventually just blows up Banjo's house 
and before that, Banjo and Kazooie actually leave the house, but uh, Bottles just stays there, and he ends up getting killed inside of the house, and there's, like, in the cutscene, he just walks out a little bit and just flops on the ground there, dies, and his spear comes out, and then Gruntilda and her sisters leave, and they go off towards whatever castle they had mentioned, so that's pretty much it. I'm sorry I, I skipped that. I feel bad. Uh, anyways. So now there's a, a fish apparently caught underneath a boulder. That, that's actually a fish that's in Banjo's house. Uh, you can see it in the start menu. Yeah, just chilling in a bowl. Uh, you're saying the same thing, dude. Just get over it. Your body is worm bait. You can't, can't help it. I think you could actually talk to him. Like, actually have dialogue with him. Look at my best clothes, they're all burnt. Well, sorry buddy. You're, they're, they're worm food as well, just with your body. Okay, so I guess he doesn't say anything, but, uh, so what we need to do actually now is head over to that spot where they drilled in. I think this is gonna show us it. Uh, right over here with Clung, okay, his name is Clungo. I don't know why I, I, I didn't remember that at the time. But, oh well. Her <laughs> stupid bear and bird coming. Me wait for them in here. Okay, so he's going to go off into his little hidey hole here. And we're going to need to go after him. So, this first part of the game in Spiral Mountain, which is where Banjo-Kazooie... Well, it, it, this isn't really where... I mean, I guess it is where Banjo-Kazooie took place. But most of it, most of the game was in Grunty's Castle, which is up there. And we're actually going to go check that out in just a second but oh god what the fuck yeah fuck off so oh pick up honeycombs to boost your energy yeah so uh, I keep like I, I'm not used to playing this game with an actual N64 controller because anytime I played this game in the past it's well yeah actually I only ever played this game on the Xbox 360 when that version came out I don't, I, didn't, I don't think I ever played this on an actual N64 up until now, which is interesting. I mean, I played Banjo-Kazooie on the N64, so it shouldn't be that different. Uh, anywho, so we need to go up to where Klungo was. But this first part of the game is just kind of giving you like a tutorial. So if you didn't play Banjo-Kazooie, you can go around to all of Bottle's holes here and talk to him. And I'll just I'll show you an example of that here. So... Which ability would you like to know more about? I keep giving him like a Mort voice, like Mort from Family Guy, I think that's his name, I think. Anyways, so yeah, you can go around here and he tells you about different moves that he he taught you in Banjo-Kazooie. But since I have already played Banjo-Kazooie and I already know quite a bit about that, I don't need to really do any of these. Well, I don't really need to go and listen to all of his mole heels. But yeah, so... Oh my gosh, I, I actually don't know when you use these in this game, like these shoes. You might use them like once. I don't remember, but yeah, so there's all these things from Banjo-Kazooie that you can use. So those were the swamp boots, these are the super fast runny shoes, and yes, these are confirmed real names. No, uh, not really. I actually don't remember what the, the names of them were. But, yeah, so you can go around and do this tutorial if you want, but I'm pretty much just going to skip it. But there is a few things I want to do. Well, actually, only one thing, really, and that's go to Grunty's lair, so I guess we'll do that. But, yeah, it looks like Grunty, like, completely trashed uh, Spiral Mountain before she left, which is kind of a bitch move, I gotta say. And, you know, I always thought, like, Grunty's, like, plan was to just take over Spiral Mountain. Which, you know what? I would already say that she already has, because she has, like, a giant castle that's just looming over this area. And Banjo just has a little house. But, whatever. So, let's go ahead and collect this thing, and we'll find out what it is. Well done! You found one of my missing pages! Collect five, then return them to me in Grunty's old lair in Spiral Mountain. 
Okay, so we don't exactly have five yet, obviously. I mean, we've only picked up one, but I do want to go talk to Mr. Cheeto because I, well, I, I'm, I'm going up there not to just show Cheeto, but I just want to show the lair and what it looks like now. Uh, here's where Grunty fell. Holy crap. She left cry to cry to cry to crater. Yeah, but she was kind of big, so that makes sense. Yeah, so what we can do is actually get onto this ladder, which used to span this little, like, drop here and connected it to Spiral Mountain, but yeah, I guess that got screwed up when Grunty did her thing here. But yeah, so we want to go in here, actually, and we will see what Grunty's lair looks like. Okay, so I don't exactly know what happened here. I don't know if Grunty fucked up her own lair before she left, but yeah. <laughs> so this there's like rocks blocking the way here, so you can only go into this entrance area. You can't go back towards um, whatever was here. I think I think this led up to the second section of Grunty's lair, and then this over here was actually the entrance to spiral mount or not spiral mountain but mumbo's mountain and unfortunately we can't go to those areas but whatever remember me i'm cheeto the magical spell book yeah yeah we know who you are just hand over something useful man i, I really like kazooie's personality and we'll see more of that later on grunty ripped out all my pages because i helped you in the last game i'd be most grateful when, when did you get a chance to do that like, what the heck? Because at the end of Banjo-Kazooie, we kicked her ass. She fell out of her castle to her death. its I don't think she had a chance to come up here and wreck her own lair or tear up Cheeto. Just doesn't make sense. Um, oh, shoot. Ah, oh, shoot. Ah, oh, shoot. Ah, oh, shoot. Ah, oh, shoot. No, oh, I unplugged my recording thing. I'm gonna have to put that in a different USB because this is just goofed up. Um, okay, well, let me get back into here real quick. Well, sorry about that. Uh, we didn't really get to see what else Cheeto said, but basically he just says if you bring him five pages, he gives you a cheat. So exactly the same thing that he said when we got that first Cheeto page. But yeah, I don't, I don't see when Grunty would have gotten a chance to come here and rip up Cheeto and wreck her lair. I, don't, I mean, I don't know. Unless she did it, like, right before we fought her in Banjo-Kazooie, but that doesn't really make sense. Yeah, so one thing I really like about Spiral Mountain and this section of Grunty's lair is, like, there's not a lot of games where you go back to the same exact area where the previous game took place. And it's, it's like changed up a little bit like it is here in Banjo-Tooie, you know, with Spiral Mountain and Grunty's Lair. I can't really think of any games where that happens. I mean, if there is one, let me know, but off the top of my head, I guess I guess Sonic Generations is one, but that's kind of different. Yeah. Yeah, but that's really cool. I mean, I like this because it's like, it's, it's nostalgic. So like, if you played Banjo-Kazooie and then you got Banjo-Tooie, and, you know, it's it's all cool because it's starting out in Spiral Mountain. It, it would be pretty awesome coming up to Grunty's lair and be like, Oh, can I go back to all those previous levels? Do I get to play those again? Do I get to explore her lair half destroyed or something? But, no. But it's still cool, though. Uh, okay, so we're going to be picking up a lot of collectibles here. And once we pick up all of these for the first time... This, uh, I forget this guy's name. It's not Bottles. I think it's Jam Jars. Yeah. So he actually comes up and tells you what these items are. But again, since I played Banjo-Kazooie, I don't really need to explain any of those things. And you, as the viewer, if you have never played those games, you will just, you'll see what those things are as we go. Uh, okay, so I'm getting screwed up by enemies. Well, by falling, I guess, not so much by enemies. But... Yeah, I think that's everything I want to show here in Spiral Mountain, so I guess we could just go ahead and go on to where Klungo was. 
But I think I'm actually going to do that in the next part because, you know, since I goofed up the, the recording there, I want to go ahead and stop this and actually fix that. So, yeah, that's going to be it for this part. If you like this video, please feel free to let me know in a comment and leave a like. I already, I, I mean, I always like those things because it tells me that people are engaged and enjoying my videos, which is always encouraging. But, yeah. So otherwise, I will see you in the next part when we go and fight Klungo. That's what's going to be happening. So thank you for watching, and I will see you then.